the celebration of preservation. And what I told you earlier was that I would explain this, that hopefully most of you picked up either first off or somewhere along the way. Because today marks the result of a lot of work, but it's truly just the beginning. We are going to have a celebration of preservation part two. Whoa. I my hands. Um, sometime soon. If things happen in time, it could still be before the weather turns to the If not, it would be as early as possible the next year. This is one example of our heritage tourism program that we have underway. This is a miniature version of the display panel that will be approximately 24 by 36 and will be mounted somewhat similar to this left um, by the Warm Springs pools for people to stop and read the story. The historical marker tells you there's something important here and it should be honored. These tell you a much more detailed story of each of the seven places. Actually, we're putting them in eight locations, but there's seven different panels um, spread throughout the Warm Springs and West Warm Springs Historic District. If my memory serves me correctly, I'll give you the list. The Warm Springs Bulls, the Old Warm Springs Hotel, just discussed by that thing, the um, Dairy Complex, which I think we just called the Dairy Barn, the Historic courthouses. This is the one we made the same panel twice. One will be put next to near the end of Warm Springs because that is one of the old courthouses. And in fact, there was another courthouse in the same general area. And in the really early days, they used to do it at a house close to where the pools and then underneath the tree. And then, of course, you know where the courthouse is now. So the same panel will be in both places, highlighting the courthouses of um, that county. We also will have one um, at the Bris Mill, I think we're just referring to it as a mill. We are going to have one for Germantown Road. If there is a more special stretch of road, short road, to possibly walk on, whether it's cold or foggy or sunset or sunrise or leaves are down or leaves are changing, whatever, that is the most magical place as far as I'm concerned. That time. It just Every time I've been on that road, it transports me back. So one of the panels is about um, Germantown Road, <laughs> highlighting properties along it, most of which are private. And we're going to make sure that it's clear that these are private properties. You're not supposed to go you know, wander around the yards, but enjoy them from the road. Um, and then, of course, West Warm Springs, which again will tell a much more detailed story than we can with the, the highway marker. Complementing all that will be a um, brochure that we're printing. For those of us who are old, old style, it's it's print, and it's going to be 11 by 17, fold out with a map, highlighting 30 some places of interest in the Warm Springs and West Warm Springs Historic District. <coughs> um, and for those of you who are more techy, it's going to be a, a carry on the mobile phone version of the same thing. Um, we're doing this with Deborah and with her colleague Laura Purvis. With the help of David McCullough and others in the Public Tourism Program, um, that's going to be part two. We are looking forward to that. We're going to try to make it a big event. Not that this wasn't special, but we're going to try. This is what's in my head. Of course, it's easy to think of it. It's really more difficult to get But a street festival with food vendors and music and highlighting the glory of the Warm Springs and West Warm Springs historic history. And as Julie said before, we are, as soon as we've proven ourselves to the county, that was the first thing. We had to fight to get the money to be able to. We, we said we would put up money for the cost sharing grant, but it can't come from individuals and it has to be the county that signs off on it. And our first go around with you know, a set of supervisors um, didn't make it. We got shot down. We went back a year later. They approved it. My thanks to the supervisors of it. We put up some money, they put up some money. We, we then got the grant, which means DHR puts up some money, we did the work, and then from there we've gone on. So we said to the county then, let us prove that this makes sense, that the residents of the county treasure it, honor it, and value it, and then we will do it again. And Lakota's a perfect place 
Um, and you can make the argument, of course, Hot Springs, uh, Millboro, and I don't want to cut out other places that are special. There are so many special places in that county, but we plan to do more. But get ready for celebration and preservation part two. It's going to be fun. We'll get Margaret in advance, so I'm telling you, we're going to have a good time. Thank you all for coming. Obviously, Deacon Deal and, and um, Felista and Kathleen and everybody associated with getting this organized to be here for the lecture. And my thanks to you. We still have some copies left of the magazine. With the cover of it to the back of this. There's a picture. If you, if you know it, even if you want to read the article, and the article is fantastic. I mean, that way you write so well and the story is so interesting. But if there's no other reason, to, pay, to make a donation to the church and get the free copy of the magazine, there's a picture of Felissa and her grandmother there that you would love. So I would ask you, if you haven't done it already, please make a contribution to the church. We have a we have a offering table up here. Michael, I think, has the, the magazines. We would be happy to give you one. It is a great article. And as a kicker, there's an article about John Tyler succeeding when uh, William Henry Harrison died. And there was this whole question of this constitution put in the way that it wasn't clear the vice president was supposed to be president. That article is fascinating. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Please make a donation. Please get the only eight copies left. And we'll see you again soon for part two.